A firmware device doesn't require an external power supply, so usually you'll simply connect the milliamp plus to your PLC input and the milliamp minus to your common. Here's the excerpt out of the 1734 IE2C manual. And on the left, it gives a four wire example. And on the right, it gives a two wire example. And we already have a video on this. But mainly the difference is going to be whether you connect a common to the device or voltage to the device. In the four wire device's case, we're going to take a wire from input zero to the device and then we're going to come back to the common. So zero and four if we're on input zero, but I'm gonna be on input one. So we're gonna to go to one and five. I'm gonna use the SIM ALP2 to simulate our device. So we'll select a current source. And at the bottom, it says that our common will be the black wire and our PLC input will be the red wire. I'll take the red post to terminal one and the black post to terminal five. And I'll bring the value up. Next, let's talk about how to scale it. And also, I have a video for you on how to wire a current two-wire or current loop device. And I've created this playlist to help you out.